Time to go to the airport. Everybody was just told to evacuate the airport. Well, hello. Well, in this video, what I'm going to show is a review of my bike that I used on the trip and also a review of the sandals that I wore, the Shimano sandals, and also the boxing of the bike, uh, the assembly of the box and putting my bike in and getting the box ready for my trip home. So it was a great trip and I hope someday you could take a trip just like it. It was an excellent adventure. So here's the bike. It's a Jameis Renegade Elite. It has a carbon frame and it weighs in at 19 pounds. Uh, one of the things I did as my own personal preference is I changed the front stem to give me a more upright um, stance on the bike. It makes it more comfortable. We're not racing here. One thing I really like about this bike is the Ultegra uh, shift levers. You can actually rest your hands on top of here, which gives you another uh, handhold when you're having long days in the saddle. And as previously mentioned, I have opted for a infinity seat, most comfortable seat ever made. And the bike I chose because it has a carbon frame. It's the lightest bike I could get that uh, you could bike pack with. It has mounts in the front uh, for my anything cages. And what you'll have to excuse right now, I don't know if you can see it, but I have protective tape that I put all over the frame. And what it does is protects your frame from the constant rubbing of uh, your bags, your gas tank, bag on top, and everything else. It also has a front uh, mount here if you want to put some kind of a uh, rack in the front. It has a mount here in the back and that's what I used to put my Tubus Fly rack on the back to mount my panniers. The tires on this bike are Donnelly MSO WC 40s, 40 millimeter. I've also changed out the cassette. I live in Connecticut in the Northwest Hills and we have a lot of climbing. I put an 11 by 40 Shimano cassette on the back. The bike came with an 1134, but the 40 combined with my compact um, crank set in the front, which is a 5034, give me enough low gear to climb up any hill where I live. Uh, the derailleur is an Ultegra RX model. It has a clutch on it that you can engage or disengage, and when it's engaged, it keeps your chain from slapping down here on your frame, uh, preventing frame damage. So it's really a nice setup. And Shimano will tell you, you can't put a cassette that big on this, um, with this group set. Even the standard length chain works fine um, with this. I had to unloosen the B-screw just a little bit, and that's an easy adjustment to make to get a low gear. Did I need low gears in this trip? Only when I encountered a 25 mile an hour headwind. The brakes on the bike are Ultegra uh, hydraulic brakes, and the stopping power is pretty incredible. It has a Ritchie carbon seat post. So at 19 pounds, it's a great bike. But now you may be wondering, if you're gonna go bike packing, why do you have a carbon frame? Isn't it weaker? Well, according to the specifications and it's proven technology, um, Jameis uh, says that you can put a load of 25 pounds on the back and 25 pounds on the front. In this particular case on my trip, my fully loaded bike with the panniers uh, on the back was 18 pounds, including the panniers. On the front, it was 12 pounds with the two Sea uh, to Summit dry bags. So, um, no problem. So the pedals are standard Shimano XT clip-in mountain bike pedals and they work just fine. So really, that's it for the bike. Now I'd like to show you what I had for shoes. For this warm weather, trip that I made, I opted for the Shimano sandals. These things are awesome. Check them out.
they look like any other sandal and they really are you can walk with them they're a little bit flexible and it's the only footwear that I took on my trip let me show you what they look like up close so these things are extremely comfortable uh, as you can see they do have some flex but they're stiff right here in the front so that you get a good transfer of power down to your pedals uh, they have velcro straps on the front so you can adjust them to the width of your foot without any problem at all. Uh, the bottom, if you take a look at it, I've got uh, SPD cleats, and I don't know if you can see it, but they are mounted below the surface of the bottom of the shoe, so you can walk around and you're not gonna make that sound like you're tap dancing and you're not gonna mar the floors. So they're truly a good shoe, they're a comfortable shoe, and again, this is all I took with me on the trip. So I strongly recommend these uh, for warm weather riding. You can wear them with, with socks. I had some waterproof socks, some um, showers pass waterproof socks that I used with these uh, for a time. And those socks are pretty awesome. You should check them out. So I'm going to put a link to a uh, description of all the stuff that we've talked about below. So it's time to pack up my bike and everything else that I brought with me to fly back to Connecticut. So I got my bicycle box to carry my bike on the airplane back home from a company called ShipBikes.com. And I had them ship it directly to my destination hotel here near the Charleston airport. So I'm going to assemble that box and show you just how efficient it is. I'm going to put this into this and put it all together with some packaging mailing tape. This box I got from a company called shipbikes.com. It cost me about $50. They even throw in a calendar. So once you open the shipping box, this is what you'll find inside. You'll find the top of the box, you'll find the bottom of the box, you'll find a support for your frame, and also two gusset plates to help keep that support in place. You also have protection for your hubs and also some connecting straps to keep the frame in place inside the box. Let's put it together. Well, it looks a bit daunting and a little large. Trust me, the thing folds up nicely. One side put together, the other side put together. So now we have one half of the box and it literally took me less than a minute to put, fold those sides in. Now here's the top of the box and we'll fold it together just like I did the bottom. Both halves of the box are now put together. Next you set aside the top of the box. So here's the bottom of the box and next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a support in here and we're going to tie it off on these three holes. So to support the um, bottom bracket area of the bicycle, remember that flat sheet of cardboard that I showed you in these two gusset plates. You form this, there's some nice perforation so that you can bend it. And you form it and you slide this plate right in like so. So I've done this side, now I'm going to do the other side. Done. Next, you take your support assembly, you move it inside the box, and you line it up with these holes, as you can see. Once in place, then you take some of those straps and you tie it down. Simple as that, it's done. Time to disassemble. I already loosened up the pedals. Now to pack your bike you don't need to remove the chain but I'm going to because mine is extremely nasty and I use a Connex chain. I believe it's the best in the business. Connex has been around forever making industrial chains and I have them on all my bicycles. And the best part is this little link to take the chain apart.
I need to get some of the gunk off of this. When you travel and you have to take your bike apart, always bring your plastic gloves. Next, remove the seat post. So I've got the bike frame in the box. I've got my seat and everything is fastened down. I have this very robust protective tape on the frame This that will serve as uh, anti-chafing until I get home. It's only a short ride uh, on the airplane. I'm now going to uh, stuff the box with some bags of dirty clothes and other things and then place my wheels on top. And there we have it, the complete bicycle and wheels are safely in the box, all secured. Well, I'm done. The bike's in the box and all ready to go to the airport. Next is my U-Haul box. Going to put that together. This box, I'll put my panniers and clothes and camping equipment. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday the 11th, and it's time to check out of the last hotel of this trip, hotel or campground. Today was a hotel, and I've got everything packed up. I've got my U-Haul box on the luggage cart uh, with a couple of hand carries that I'm going to have on the airplane. I've got my mighty steed in the bike box, and I've got to get that bike box onto this carrier but I can't get it through that door. So I'm gonna do it out in the hallway. It's been a great trip, time to go to the airport. <laughs> so I'm here at the Charleston airport and everybody was just told to evacuate the airport. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it's uh, a false alarm. So we'll see. He's coming all the way out. of the airport that told us all to go in the parking garage across the street. No one seems to know what's going on. Now they've got us at the other side of the parking garage. Well, that's the end of my journey. And what a journey it was. It was a great trip. And I truly hope that someday you can have an adventure just like I did. Uh, next week, I'm going to post another video showing my impressions of the entire trip. And stick around for that. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Anyway, have a great day and thanks for watching.